give you a message for Simon Harris. Simon, <laughs> welcome to our protest. Um, I think, I don't know, Simon, I'd say there could be a thousand of us here today. What do you Yay! think? Go! No! No! about telling him to go? We, we want our men no! back. What do we want? and get justice for Ava. That little girl needs her medication and she needs it now. Have you a message for Simon Harris? Yes. Make it medicine, make it happen. Have you a message for Simon Harris? I don't. Legalise, legalise the medicine. Have you a message for Simon Harris? Yeah, my message to Simon Harris is to either make the treatment available to Ava or resign. Your actions are endangering people's lives, you're endangering little Ava's life. And furthermore, Simon, my message to you is I have a statement signed about this very thing about knowingly withholding a viable medical treatment. Now, we all know that this medication was prescribed, so I'm saying release the medication to Ava or resign. And if you don't, and anything happens in the meanwhile, you're fully legally responsible. You are criminally responsible for your actions. There's people dying. The truth is out there. Everybody knows. Stop thinking about your friends, Big Pharma, and start thinking about the people who you're supposed to represent. Have you a message for Simon Harris? Yes. Make the medicine, make it happen. that fear and needs to get here about the help she needs and other families around the country. No good dragging it on it. Simon, you know you're on a loser. The whole country is getting behind this woman and what she's doing. So before the summer recess we ask you to we ask you to pass uh, get the legislation and start enacting it straight away. Hi Gino, how do you feel the march went today? Yeah, it was very, very good, very kind of uh, lively, energetic and kind of, you know, the fight for medicinal cannabis is uh, well and truly live wherever it goes, whether in Cork, Barcelona or Dublin, um, I think, you know, it's an ongoing kind of battle, but it's very, it was very, very, very good today. Have you a message for Simon Harris? Uh, I have a message for the government. Uh, they have to legislate and they have to um, make you know, make medicinal cannabis a choice for people that need it. Because the cannabis access problem which the government are advocating uh, doesn't go anywhere near where it should go. So I think it's time to legislate their bill and you know, put this put this to bed uh, to a certain extent where it gives people a choice and that's why they're presenting. Okay, thank you. Yeah, sir. Hi Vera, how do you feel today went? Today was fantastic. Today was absolutely brilliant. The whole of Cork came out to support us. And not only Cork, but people came down from Wexford, Galway, up from Kerry, everywhere. There was a massive, massive crowd. And we started outside the Grand Parade here where we are at the moment. And we walked on Patrick Street and back up, or we walked down the South Mall, sorry, we came down around the bus station and up by Merchants Quay and Patrick Street. And I was very, very proud to be an Ahabolic woman today and to be a Cork woman today because the people of Cork came out and the people of Cork know that we need justice for Ava, that we need justice for everybody, that we need medicinal cannabis and that, um, you know, it, it was just, it was just 
fabulous to, to, to meet again all of the people that are behind Eva and that need this for us and that need this for their own families. And I suppose, like, I suppose the message that I'd have for, for you, Simon, um, would be, like, and they're always standing here. The people of the country need this medication for their families. And no matter what you say or no matter what you do, they still need it. They do not need a compassionate access program allowing pharmaceutical CBD based medications coming into the country. Medications that are not as significant as whole plant medicinal cannabis. And it's your opportunity, Simon, it's your opportunity to make this country proud of you, to make this country proud of you, Simon, because you have the power to move the legislation that is necessary. And you can deny the fact that the legislation is necessary, but we all know, don't we, that it isn't true. It is necessary to allow the people of this country access in the correct way to medicinal cannabis for their families. So Simon, my message to you would be, like, like, it's, like we're saying all along, make it medicine, make it happen. And can't you do it now? Put the wheels in motion. Contact the HSE. Contact the People Before Profit Party who have brought this legislation forward. And you can make a difference and you can do it now. Thank you, Vera. Thank you, Siobhan.